Do you like car detailing? Please subscribe Wheeler Detailers. Hit the bell icon and watch all our videos. So what's up everyone? Thanks again for tuning in on a Wheeler Detailers video. Today it's all about our thickest drying towel, which you can see here. This is the 90 times 60 centimeter size Woolly Mammoth. It's got two long piled sides, front and back. Today we're gonna see how much water we can soak into it after I'm washing my car. So I'm gonna put this Woolly Mammoth aside and start washing. But before we can use the Woolly Mammoth drying towel, we need to clean up the car. And as you can see on the front side of my car, it's super, super, super dirty with box splatter, insect rests, also here are my mirror caps as well. So we're gonna give it a good wash. And after the good wash, we will rinse it off and we will see what the woolly mammoth can do. Before I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna rinse off the most stubborn dirt particles with my uh, snubby spray gun with the green MTM nozzle on the front, which is the 15 degree one. That's what I like most, especially also to rinse out the wheel arches. Then we're gonna start washing with uh, V7 car wash and the two bucket method. So see you in the next shot. This uh, shampoo bucket up a little bit with the V7 shampoo, which is this one. So here we go. V7 shampoo. Let's foam this one up. Let's see how it goes. Make sure the nozzle is under the water level. I'm here with my two buckets. This is my bucket with rinsing water with only the dirt trap here on the lower part. You can also see this through the clear bucket. And here I've got the Hybrid V7 shampoo. I'm gonna mix this around 30 to 60 milliliters on a bucket. And these are uh, four and a half gallon buckets. So in liter sizes, it's 19 liter. So you're gonna use 30 to 60 milliliters of shampoo. And you're gonna mix that with 19 liters of lukewarm water. What I always do myself is first I'm gonna fill the bucket half full with warm water. Then I'm gonna add my 30 to 60 milliliters of shampoo. And then I'm gonna make sure that the nozzle from my spray gun is under the water level. And I'll mix it like this until the bucket is full and I've got this nice top of soap on top. You can actually also feel when your water is in it. It feels kind of smooth between your fingertips, which gives a good idea about how mild this shampoo is. And with that, if it's also has some, some gloss enhancers, some polymers in it, that will help to create a smooth surface after washing as well. Let's start washing with the two bucket methods. And for the front side, the front bumper, I'm gonna use my mesh side from the wheel wedge wash mitt which is perfectly to release, I hope, most of the bugs without even a bug remover. So let's go. Let's take on some suds and start washing top down with my three-way microfiber wash mat, which is one side chinilla, other side normal microfiber. And on the edges, you see here mesh side. So you can also with that do some bug removal or some Hard to remove spots that need some extra scrubbing. This is, by the way, one of my favorite wash mats in the Camel Guys range. can actually see here that the wash bit requires me to do some extra scrubbing which is also a signal that we're working with a little bit of milder shampoo also known as a maintenance shampoo it's not as strong as a cypress shampoo so on stains or in this case some road grime you need to scrub a little bit more than you should do for example with like clean slate or citrus washing gloss which is a stronger shampoo over that a little bit better choice for really stubborn dirt
I always start high. There's not a book that says that you need to start high with washing. But for some reason, I always have the feeling that everything that I release on top uh, has now the chance to roll down in the suds. Okay, let's rinse it out again. You can see me rinse often. I more or less rinse after every large body panel, or like a bonnet or a roof, I probably do in two times or three. I'm gonna leave the front bumper over as latest because I'm gonna work on that part with the with the mesh side from the wheel wedge so we can check out how uh, much better that scrubs than a normal microfiber. Let's uh, switch to, uh, it's not even my invention, actually it's called the wheel wedge because it's really small and triangle shaped so you can easily come in more or less every part or hard to reach area from a wheel surface. Mesh side, microfiber side, so now here, if you want to use this one you can stick your fingers behind here, but I love to use this one for bugs. So let's walk to a mirror cap here. There's no insect cleaner here, it's just washing, coming straight out of my bucket. Voila! So let's take on some new shots for the other mirror cap. Make sure to uh, take off always some fresh shots and to have the mesh side also clean. You can easily scrub it over your dirt trap or over your grid guard washboard. But that's pretty much all I do. I love to use it like this one. So let's go to the big one, the front bumper. Make sure we're gonna rinse it out again, scrub it over the dirt trap on the bottom. Take on some shots, here we go. So let's rinse off the last uh, pieces of suds and then we're going to start drying. Make sure you're gonna use minimum, let's say, 30 to 40 centimeters of distance from your paint or your PPF or your vinyl wrap because otherwise you can also damage your paint. Like this high pressure washer can easily produce between 130 and 160 bars, which I'm gonna use like this, which will actually create paint damage or vinyl wrap damage. And it's also expensive to reinstall and fix that up again. So make sure you're gonna use 30, 40 centimeters of distance minimum. the ironizing products you always want to rinse very properly so all the spokes from multiple angles also the inside of the wheel beds so you don't want to dry let this dry on your wheel um, it will not etch but it will just look ugly and then next time you need to brush it again so it's better to prevent having the extra work afterwards so car is washed rinsed let me get my woolly mammoth drying towel so here we go the chemical guys woolly mammoth drying towel and let me start with first things first which i do love the logo but i don't love the labels on my towels so these ones go in my pocket i'm gonna fold my drying towel as a four fold like this i'm gonna start here on the lower parts there we go and then I'm gonna go back to the front, over the C-pillar, to the front wing. Damn, this is drying really well. Wow, this is really going great. I don't see any shimmer anymore. If I'm not sure, there's still drying capacity in it. But if I'm not sure, I now can check it. I can always switch to another side. By using it as a full fold, I create eight sides to dry with. But here is still some capacity left. So here we go over the windows. Make sure to touch everything very well. I don't see any shimmer anymore. Definitely our best drying towel. So here we go over the doors. Make sure you don't touch the ground. Super dry. The rear wing. So. I only used one eighth of my towel. And there's still enough capacity left, but now I'm going to switch it around. You can see not any shimmer being on the surface anymore. So since I'm right-handed on this car, I'm going to start with the front. Again, I'm going to use it as a fourfold. Start with a dry section. I'm going to start here. And then the lower parts. Here we go. And I'm going to go back over the C-pillar. 
to the front wing on the left side. I've got a feeling that the towel more or less wants to suck itself towards the surface. <laughs> Let's go to the roof and to the bonnet and to the front bumper. Now I'm going to use it as a two-fold so I can glide it easily towards the front. How much dryer do you want to have it? Wow! Woolly Mammoth is king of drying. and dry again. So we're gonna drive this baby inside, make it ready for PPF in the next two days. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video with the happy ending towels. So my sum up for the Woolly Mammoth drying towel, definitely a 10 out of 10. Yes, it has a price tag, I know, but if you can see how this dries compared to the other drying towels, it's like, uh, it's just super. Hope you like this video. If you got some ideas for detailing content, things you wanna know, things you wanna see Jordi and me demo for you or try out for you, write us an email, info um, And for the rest, be sure to share the Wheeler Detailers YouTube channel with your family and friends, everybody that likes car care, cars and detailing and fun and good times. Yeah, be part of our family, follow our videos. See you in the next video, bye-bye.